Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In the previous video, I showed you how to design this home page using Figma. And uh, we also have a dark mode for this uh, home page. So if I click on this button right here, we are taken to the dark mode of our website. And if I click on this uh, light mode switch, it takes us back to the light mode. So this is what we have designed as of now using Figma. So if you haven't watched that video, you can go ahead and watch it. I will leave the link in the description of this video. Now in this video, we're going to start converting this into a real website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We are not going to use any tool to convert this uh, Figma file directly to code. But we're going to write all the code ourselves so that we will have a better control over the code. And you will also be able to learn how to design a website from scratch. Now in this video, we will export the images from the Figma file and we'll also write the HTML of our design. So let's get started. All right, first of all, let's close this prototype and uh, let's go to the design. And here we can see we have two frames, one for the light mode and one for the dark mode. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to extract the images uh, from uh, these uh, designs over here. So first of all, let's go ahead and uh, extract this image from here so let's click on this image and uh, let's go over here to the sidebar and uh, let's scroll down and here we can see the image that's going to be exported if you don't see this you can just click on this preview button right here and uh, then just select png from here and i'll just click on export hero image and i have created a folder called home page 2 and in that i have a folder called images so i'll just save it over here and i'll just name it hero image and let's click on save and the image has been saved now let's extract this dark switch from here so I'll just click on this icon and let's scroll down here on the right and let's go over here to export now we'll export this as an SVG now there are a lot of benefits of using SVGs one of the main benefits is that it won't lose quality even if you scale it up so let's select SVG from here and let's click on export and we'll just name it dark switch.svg and let's click on save and there's one more image we need to export that is the light switch so let's go over here and uh, let's select this let's scroll down and uh, let's click on plus over here on the export and let's select svg and click on export and we'll just name it light switch dot svg and uh, let's click on save and that's it with the images of our design right here i have opened the project folder inside vs code and we have this images folder where we have exported these images from Figma. Now let's create uh, the HTML, CSS and JavaScript files. So let's click on new file and we'll just create a file called index.html and let's create a CSS file. We'll just name it style.css and let's create a JavaScript file. We'll just name it main.js. Now let's go back to our index.html file and in VS Code we have Emmet already installed. So you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML5 boilerplate code and let's change the title to welcome and let's link our CSS file over here so I'll just type link and press tab and in the href I'll just type style.css and let's also link our JavaScript file over here so I'll just type script colon src and uh, here I'll just type main.js right now let's start with the markup so if you go back to our design, we can see that we have a max width for our content. So if you take a look at this, we can see that this is the max width of our content. So let's create a division to hold everything. So let's create a division with a class of container. And now the first thing we will do is we'll create these navigation menus. So we'll have this logo over here and the navigation menus. And then we also have these two buttons over here. For that, we'll create a division with a class of nav container. And in that, we will have a division with a class of left, where we will have this logo. And for the logo, I'll just have a division with a class of logo. And I'll just type GT coding over here. And after the left division, we will have a division with a class of right, where we will have these menu items, this button, and also these two buttons over here. So let's create a nav element and we'll also give it a class of menu items. And in that we will have anchor tags for each of these menu items. So let's create an anchor tag and uh, in the href I'll just type hash. And uh, here I'll just type blog which is the first navigation menu. And then we have about downloads and contact. So I'll just duplicate this uh, three more times. You can just press shift and alt 
and uh, press the down arrow and it will duplicate it and the next one is about and then we have downloads and lastly we have contact now contact is a button so we'll also have a class called btn over here so I'll just type class equals btn now there are going to be two types of buttons in our design we're going to have a dark button and also a light button so for this anchor tag we'll also have a class called dark and we're going to style it using CSS right now the next thing we need to have are these two switches over here we have the dark switch and the light switch so let's go outside the nav and let's create a division with the class of dark switch and let's create an IMG tag and in the source I'll just type images slash and we have exported it as dark switch dot SVG so let's select this right now let's create another division with the class of light switch and let's type IMG and in the SRC I'll just type images slash light switch dot SVG right that's it with the navigation container so let's go outside the division this is where the light switch ends and then we have the right division over here and this is where the nav container ends so let's go outside this division and now let's create the hero section so here we can see on the left side we have this text content over here and on the right side we have this image so let's create a header so I'll just type header and we'll also give it a class of hero section and we have to divide that into two different sections one for the left part and one for the right part so let's create a division with the class of left and another division with the class of right and in the left division we need to have an h1 for this content so I'll just copy this and let's create an h1 over here and I'll just paste the text over here next we need to have a paragraph and we'll also give it a class of subheading and let's copy this text from here and let's paste it over here and then we need to have two buttons over here so let's create a division with the class of buttons and in that we'll have anchor tags and let's give it a class of btn and we have a dark and a light button so let's give it a class of dark and for the first button we have text of enroll now and I'll just duplicate this and here I'll just type learn more and uh, here instead of dark I'll just type light All right now the last thing we need to add is this image right here so here in the right division I'll just create an IMG tag and in the SRC I'll just type images slash hero image dot PNG and I think that's it with the HTML of our website now let's weave this in a browser so I have this extension called live server installed on VS code so you can go ahead and install this extension once you install that you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server and this is how our website looks right now and that's it for this video in the next video we will style this using CSS and we will make it exactly like this design right here and then I'll also show you the functionality of adding dark mode so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.